Mir Translator is an application for MIMO that performs recognition and translation of text captured by the Nokia N900 camera. Here's a page from a Chinese restaurant menu from which I would like to translate text. Let's try item J2. First, we use Mir Translator to take a picture of the text we are interested in. The text should be reasonably well and evenly lit. Next, we use the touch screen to select the area of the image containing the text we would like to translate. In this example, we select item J2. Now we choose our input language. Mir Translator currently supports translation to and from over 30 different languages. In this example, we select Chinese. We can also select an output or destination language. Let's leave it as English for now. When we are ready to translate, we press the send button and wait for the results. The updated status message indicates that translation is done. We press the result button to see the results. The text area at the top of the result view shows the text that was recognized. The bottom of the view shows our final translated result. Our results appear to be correct in this example. Next, we will see what we can do in case our results are not correct. Here is a segment of text taken from a magazine. It reads, Green Technology Lets Its Hair Down. Let's try translating it to check. Much of the recognized text is shown in red. This means Mirror Translator was not confident in most of the recognition. We can click on individual characters to select them, and then look in the window to the right. For any selected character, we see the area of the original image that it corresponds to. Let's select the entire misrecognized group of text. We notice that it corresponds to the area occupied by the word let's. We can click on the window to correct this group of text. The window is enlarged for our inspection. Let's scroll left using the arrow key to get a better view. We notice that the crop accidentally included a confusing green mark. We can manually adjust the selection to omit this extraneous mark and retry recognizing this area. Our recognized text is now correct. We can click the retranslate button to get an updated translation. This is the same text segment as shown before, but with uneven lighting. Notice that the text is bright in the middle and dark near the left edge. We will try translating to Russian. Again, our results are incorrect. In particular, the characters in the word green were misrecognized. This is likely due to the variable lighting over the text in our image. Let's select all the characters in the misrecognized word and try to correct it. Sometimes, simply retrying recognition is not enough and the system needs more help. Click on the global button to help the system perform global thresholding. Slide the slider bar so that the text and background separate completely and cleanly into black and white regions. Once this is done, retry recognition. Sometimes, even this is not enough. Let's see another method for helping recognition. This time, press the adaptive button and again slide the slider to separate text and background. Adaptive thresholding is an advanced tool that can sometimes help recognition when there is uneven lighting, for example due to shadows. Finally, click retranslate to update the translation. In our final example, we will try to translate a segment of text from a Chinese magazine.
Mere translator is not confident in its recognition. We notice that the second half of the text does not have as many characters as is shown in the original image. Through a quick inspection, we find that Mere Translator mistakenly left the last character out of the recognition. Let's try to regain this missing character. We select the last recognized character and perform manual correction. We adjust the crop to include the last character and then retry. We have successfully obtained the last character. Unfortunately, there is another mistake to correct. This character was misrecognized. Before we attempt recognition again, we can consult this list of candidate characters. These candidates are other potential characters to consider in case the chosen character was wrong. This candidate on the far right corresponds correctly to the one we are attempting to recognize. Once we have chosen it, we can translate and arrive at a correct result.